Alright. Hey guys, it's me, Little Squawker, and today is my first full week of school, and nothing says school like doing a book review about a book that takes place in school, and that is Scarlet Epstein Hate to Hear by Anna Burslow, and I got this book courtesy of Uppercase, so thank you, Uppercase. So, Anna, or, no, not Anna, Scarlet Epstein Hates It Here is about a girl named Scarlet, Scarlet Epstein, and she finds out that her favorite TV show has been canceled due to something. I forgot what. Probably gonna place it, like, right here, maybe? I don't know. And so now she is trying to live a normal life after the show, and it was, like, her favorite thing. She even wrote fan fiction about it. She even has a fan fiction group on her, like, on her edition of Wattpad, like, how we have the Wattpad. But I think it's called something different on there. And she is trying to, like, try to make life like possible, like still trying to get the fan going on there, and then now she has to deal with the real life um, stuff that's going on, like school, she's kind of having a bad GPA in her classes, and she's really not caring about it, and so she's trying to fix, she's not really trying to fix, but she's more in effect, like she's trying to get her life together because so much, like so many stuff is coming like right at her. So yeah, so let's talk about the characters real quick. The our main character, obviously, is told in first person, and we have the perspective of Scarlett Epstein. And Scarlett, I believe, is a 16-year-old girl who goes to a high school, and she doesn't have a lot of friends because she is so focused on the show. And But the only friend she does have is her friend Avery and her um, across-the-neighbor 75-year-old pot-smoking person, Ruth. And I loved Ruth. Oh my god, I'll get to her in a bit. But her, Scarlett and Avery's relationship, I knew it was going to come to like some faulting point or some little problem. I knew it was going to go to a problem at some point in time. And I sensed it because Avery is trying to be optimistic about things. And you have Scarlett who is like digging herself in a hole. And... Yeah, so another person we have is Gideon and, not Gillian, Gideon, and, um, Gideon is one of Scarlett's closest friends before high school came about, and now he's basically a two-faced person because he acts so kind around, um, he acts so kind around Scarlett, and then once he's with his football friends and all that stuff, he starts to act differently because he's trying to remain his cool factor in. And it's really annoying to see because I personally do not like it at all when people act like that. And now let's quickly talk about Ruth. I love Ruth with a burning passion. I think Ruth is a fabulous character and Anna did such a good job of writing Rue. And Rue is a very open person. Like, she would probably tell you about anything and she's probably the most down-to-earth person I've ever seen in a book. And... It's really awesome to see um, what, oh my god, I'm trying to find words. It's awesome to see what authors could do with certain characters with certain personalities because you can't do anything with a character and it's great. But Anna did such a good job on writing Ruth. I love Ruth to death, literally, if you read the book. And so yeah, and then you have her mom who's kind of also trying to get her life together because she is a single mom and she is trying to find another guy and at the same time, um, like, Anna, not Anna, I keep saying Anna, Scarlet is still in contact with her dad and her stepsister and her other stepsister and so that happens and yeah, so you could kind of tell with like the plot line that's gonna get a bit twisted and one thing I really didn't like about Scarlet Epstein was that she was brutally honest and when I say brutally honest I really mean she's brutally honest like if someone said like oh yeah you did this and then Scarlet's like no I didn't and then when he mentioned it again she just tells a lie truth the liar the lie lie tr try the try and um yeah, she's really honest about things, and she does that so that way the situation can stop and she doesn't have to deal with it anymore. But really, it's just harming her and harming the relationship she's trying to form with other people. And that's what she does a lot with Gideon, and towards the end of the book we did see that. And 
it was just I kept face palming the book I was like why Scarlett why are you doing this and it's really annoying to see that and another thing that I really love is Scarlett and Root's relationship a lot because um Scarlett had to do this force bond thing where like in order to finish her project she had to go get pot for Ruth and then they just bonded over this friendship and Scarlett just like goes over there and she's really nonchalant about it and Ruth is also nonchalant about it and then like they just talk and then she just spills her feelings out of nowhere and then Ruth is there to back her up and that's what I really like and spoiler alert if you're new to my channel I do spoiler reviews and um so Ruth dies and we, I didn't suspect it at all throughout the whole entire book because you just see her die. You just saw, you, like, you didn't even see it. It's more like the pronounce, they pronounce Ruth dead. And it's really, really sad. And because that was the only, like, true relationship that Scarlet only had other than with her mother. And... It's really sad to see it just end. And I wish Roots would have stayed throughout the whole entire novel, but, you know, authors do whatever. And and let's also quickly talk about the dad, because every time I record, I pre-record this, I always forget about the dad. And Scarlet and Scarlet's dad is a really weird relationship, because, yes, that Scarlet is happy about her dad and stuff, but really, her dad is an author, and her dad wrote his latest bestseller all about the last re relationship that he had, meaning that it was Scarlett's mom and Scarlett's dad, and he decided to put that into a novel. And Scarlett just went on full venting mode, and it was, it was, it was, it was bad. It was really bad. But the ending did save it. I feel like there should have been, like, a few, like, plot holes to be fixed. Like, it wasn't plot holes. It was, like, a little divot that it should have been solved. So, I really wish we saw more of Dad and Scarlet. Because you do see a lot of Mom and Scarlet, but you never see a lot of Dad and Scarlet. And along with the stepsisters as well. And the bully, in this case, I mean... I didn't 